Petro Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my beautiful DC Bags Guatemala Exclusiva. And so for those of you who just missed that, it's all going to be in the description and the title of this video. So no worries, you'll be able to find it. But again, this is my DC Bags Guatemala Exclusiva, and this is the mini Bumblebee. So they make a full-size version, which is called the Bumblebee, and they make a mini version, which is called the mini Bumblebee. And for those of you who are familiar with the Nana and Company bags, their Bumblebee, their full-size looks to me identical to the Nene & Co convertible day bag. And the mini Bumblebee is just a miniature version of that bag. So it is beautiful, you guys. And one of the things I wanna tell you before we even start talking about this bag is the customer service that this company has is amazing. So I found them by accident through Instagram, believe it or not, and I messaged them through Instagram in the middle of the night, you guys. It was probably nine o'clock at night and they messaged me right back. Then the next day they got a whole shipment of bags and they said, hey, would you like to see some other bags to make sure this is the one you really want? And literally sent me like 30 photos of other bags to make sure this was the one that I really wanted to own. So, I mean, they're just amazing, amazing, amazing customer service. So the best way for me that I found to reach them is through Instagram, but they also have a Facebook account. So I'll post both their Facebook and their Instagram information in the description below. But just wanted to put it out there, the customer service was amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. So like I always do, let's go ahead and talk about the outside of this bag first, and then we'll talk about how I have it packed up on the inside. So this first part right here, you do have a little slip pocket. Then on each side of the bag, you do have one magnetic pocket. The back side of the bag, you do have one zipper pocket. And then you have one main zippered pocket across the top that opens the bag to the main compartment. This bag can be carried three ways. Be carried over the crook of your arm with the tote handles. It can be carried crossbody or over the shoulder with a long strap. Now this is adjustable in a sense. So you do have the adjust way to adjust it right here. Um, I am very short, you guys. I'm five foot three, and this is an extremely long strap on me. So I shortened it to as short as I can go. And this is a great crossbody length for me. I probably wouldn't wear it standard over the shoulder this long, but it's a great crossbody length at this setting. And it's really got a great drop length for over the crook of the arm. But you guys, it is a mini pupil bag with backpack straps. It's just so amazing these are so comfortable and especially because this bag is a miniature version it's a small version it's not that heavy it is so comfortable it is absolutely amazing so for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and remove the shoulder strap just so it's not clinking around on us and when i take this bag out i actually don't even carry the shoulder strap most of the time and if i do i just put it inside the bag and carry it but i don't leave it attached most of the time because i carry it either over the crook of my arm or backpack style so in this front pocket right here I have some quick grab items. So I have a couple of the Baby Gannix hand sanitizer wipes. And I have my favorite pen right now. This is my gem pen that I got from the Sensible Mama. Bottle pocket on this side. I do have my clip of bag hook. So if I'm out anywhere, I can go ahead and keep my bag off the ground because you guys know I do not like to have my beautiful bags on the ground. And right here I have a MediBuddy case, and look how beautiful this matches the bag, you guys. The colors just match so perfectly, it was just meant to be. And in here I do have a Happy Baby Teether Biscuit and two yogurt raisins. And that's all I have in there. This has a nice magnet, you guys. Clips really easy. Other bottle pocket right here. This is where I keep my hand sanitizer. You guys know my Honest Company hand sanitizer, staple in all of my bags. And I am loving this almond hand lotion, you guys. So, carrying this with me right now. And again, I'm at an awkward angle, but nice magnetic pocket. And then back here on the back side of the bag. And here's where I'm keeping my wallet. And right now I am using a Jujube small set piece in the blackout print. And in here I just have two be charged, one with insurance cards and one with uh, credit cards and my license, and then an NCO coin purse with cash and coins in it. And that fits great in here. And there's a little bit more room too, so I could throw receipts in there or some miscellaneous paperwork if I needed to. Let's go ahead and turn this bag around. 
and the leather on this bag is really nice you guys and just as an fyi i did ask them through instagram the best conditioner to use on their bags i asked about leather honey they said leather honey works great on the leather on their bags and i do actually already own that product because that's what i use on some of my other leather bags so you do have one nice zipper and look at the zipper pull you guys how fun is this with this tassel right here one nice smooth zipper and let me give you a shot of the inside of the bag before i take anything out and the lining of this bag is a lot of fun, you guys. I'll show you when I'm done what the lining looks like. So sitting right here on top, I do have a play pack case. Now I've packed this differently than I normally do. This play pack case was made by Christy McCoy at Crafting After Dark. And normally I just keep play pack stuff in it, like uh, crayons, stickers, that kind of thing. But I used it as my restaurant essentials with the play packs on one side. So here I have, I'm not gonna take everything out, but I have some dapple wipes, some dapple wipes, some baby, um, Organics hand sanitizer wipes. I have disposable bibs. I have the placemat toppers for the table. Um, so basically everything I would need to eat at a restaurant for the girls. And then in this pocket here, I have a couple of the play pack cases. I have a sticker book and then I have some twistable crayons. So instead of having two things, one with the restaurant essentials and one with the play pack stuff, I put everything in here and it worked out so great. This is what the bag looks like now. So sitting right down here in the middle of the bag, I do have my Y Pouch 30 case and this has parasol baby wipes in it. And I have my Jujube large set piece in the blackout print. And this is my diapering essentials. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I do pack for a three-year-old, she just turned three, and a two-year-old, and this is the first video I'm saying that in. So my littlest baby, you guys, turned two last week. So we just had a birthday party on Saturday, and uh, both girls are pretty much potty trained. So the two-year-old's still working on, she just turned two, so she's still working on the poo in the potty. So we do carry diapers with us, but um, they're both doing great. So anyways, I do carry some more baby Gannix hand wipes two of the Honest Company pull-ups. And I usually carry the 2T3T. These are the 2T3T size. And then I have another white pouch case full of the parasol wipes. And this is in the monochrome hearts print. And then I have disposable change pad. And a whole mess of the summer infant disposable potty covers for the public toilets. And then I have a Jujube coin purse in the space place print. And then here I just have some baggies for some dirty diapies or pull-ups if we have them. And I believe that is it for my diapering essentials. That's it. And this is what the bag looks like now. So this just fell over. This is my little mini snack tower. So this is the replay snack tower. You can stack this as high as you want, but since this is just my day bag for during the week, this isn't my large weekend bag. So I've been carrying this for the weekdays. This is if we're going to the doctor's office, the grocery store, we have to do some quick errands. So we don't need a whole lot of snacks with us. So this would hold some dehydrated fruit and some yogurt chips for us. And then this is what the bag looks like. And sitting right at the bottom, this is a blackout medium set piece by Jujubee and I just carry one change of clothes with me during the week because I highly doubt that both girls will need to change of clothes on a quick run out at the same time and they wear essentially the same size so the only thing I have two of is two pairs of socks just because if both of them walk through a puddle or something I may need to change both their socks then I do have a teether necklace just because the just turned one year old she loves these loves 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 them and then I have one change of clothes again that would fit either the three-year-old or the two-year-old so I have a shirt a pair of pants a pair of panties and a unpapered towel by Marley's Monsters to clean up any messes if I need to. And that'll fit great in here. And that's it for the main compartment of the bag. Now the bag does have two slip pockets right here. And in this slip pocket right here, a set of Tegu blocks. And these are those magnetic blocks, you guys. The babies love these. So we have two sets of these and these are the natural wood color. And then in this slip pocket, I do have a Jujube coin purse and this is just some mommy grab things so this is um, a panty liner some contacts some dental floss a hairspring just some little things that I may need and then on this side of the bag you guys is a zipper pocket and this is my what I'm calling my mommy pocket so in here I have my migraine medicine 
do have a mirror and you guys this again was made by christy mccoy at crafting after dark and this is a sea punk print and it is so cute i'll put all her information below and a couple of lip glosses because you guys know i am addicted to my lip glosses and i think that is it for that pocket but this bag holds so much it didn't even feel full but hopefully you guys can get a good shot of this. So the inside is multicolored and it's got glitter thread running through it. So there's some glitter pink, some glitter copper, some glitter like gold colored thread that's running through it. It is just absolutely beautiful. If, oh, I wanna show you one more thing, you guys. The bags, all of the bags come with a dust bag and look how fun this dust bag is, you guys. Is this not the cutest dust bag you have ever seen? So super duper cute. Again, all of their bags, their mini bumblebee, their bumblebee, their totes, they come with a dust bag. So again, company had great customer service. The quality of this bag is impeccable. I am just loving this bag and it is stunning. I mean, look at this, look at the hoop on this. It is just absolutely stunning if you guys can see these colors. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So that's it for me, you guys. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.